Hello and welcome to Stars in the Dark. It's been a couple of weeks. Uh, maybe you don't know that if you're watching this in the in the future, but who knows? Um, this is season four, episode nine, episode forty. We've hit the big four zero, uh, or maybe it's forty one or forty two, or, or depending on how you count. But it's the it's the official episode forty. So uh, is that? Uh, Kai pr most probably won't be able to join us today due to a power outage and, and other things. Uh, maybe he'll show up, we don't know, but we're, we're not expecting him to be here today. <clears throat> um, last session, you uh, set up a plan for going after Vruvo, your, uh, your nemesis, I guess, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Uh, who maybe isn't as much of a bad guy as you are, who knows? Uh, it's a bit unclear. Uh, <laughs> but you're down on 13, back on 1313, and you've set up uh, um, a sniper ambush, I guess. Uh, you're going to take him out when he leaves Skirbos. At least that was the plan. Um, we did the engagement role uh, last time. You're you're going to be in a risky position, um, and I think this is because there are other people in the area. Um, so I think um, I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, we open with uh, we see the the entrance to Scarbo's bar, which I realized actually has a name, the Shards of Alderaan. Uh, we named it at some point. Um, and we, we, we see the, the entrance. There's some a, a few people coming and going. It's not a huge, huge crowd. Uh, we see the lights inside and, and hear some noise. Um, and then we zoom back and we see that we're we're seeing this entrance through Boko's scope as he's uh, uh, staked out on, on top of a building uh, a couple of blocks away. Uh, uh, and then we zoom out to see Boko there in his uh, where, where he's set up. Uh, and then we zoom out a little bit further and we realize that someone is watching Boko uh, through uh, a pair of what what are they called? Is it um it's not macro binoculars, it's something else. Viewfinder, no? I thought it was macro binoculars. Yeah, yeah I think maybe it's that binoculars. Is, maybe that's it. It sounded weird, but maybe Yeah, it's, it's in Wikipedia. You were right. Okay. Do not doubt yourself. Your can is strong. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can decide that they're on Coruscant, they're more macro binoculars. Right uh, uh, so someone is watching. Uh, Boko is watching the the uh, entrance. Someone is watching Boko, um, and this I think is, um, yeah. Is anyone inside Scarbos like keeping an eye on on Vruvo because Vruvo is there now? You know, you know that much. Uh, is someone in there keeping an eye on him and and like ready to signal Boko, or are you just are you just trusting Boko to pick him off uh, as soon as he leaves? I'm happy to have Tycho inside watching Fruvo. That could work. Cool, because Skirbos is a gambling place, and Tycho doesn't mind spending a little bit of credits. And... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, you're keeping an eye on Vruvo, uh, not trying not to make draw attention to yourself. I don't think you've met him, right? Uh, I think you've seen not on screen. Seen him at a distance, but you haven't encountered him. So yeah, yeah. Um, he's there with what seems to be three members of his crew. Uh, they're in the NPCs tab, uh, upper right. Um, it's uh, two humans and a Rodian. Um, they are hanging out uh, mostly. Uh, Bruvo, uh, 
steps up to Hogax for a bit to talk to him. Uh, Hogax is the, the security person who Boko knows, mostly mm -hmm. Boko knows. But they just they they just talk for a bit. It it, it doesn't seem to be uh, particularly tense. It's not a long conversation. Um, then uh, Ruvo rejoins uh, his crew. They're having some drinks. Um, they mostly seem to be there to enjoy themselves rather than to meet up with someone. They're not hanging out like in a booth in the back or anything. They're um, they are. I think there's some kind of stage show. Um, Mark, what do you think um, Scarbo would put on? What, what kind of show do you think he would put on? Um, <laughs> maybe it's a uh, uh, a uh, like a uh, like a, a torch singer with a with a slow jazz band behind her, and uh, maybe maybe it's a hut this time. Ooh, a hot singing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's I don't think I've cool. seen that before. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh I think it's a female hot. She's got this very deep hot voice. Uh, husky. It, yeah, husky. <laughs> <laughs> it's perhaps not entirely enjoyable to, to human ears. But it's not bad. It, it's uh, an acquired taste, perhaps. Um, uh, Vruvo seems to enjoy it. Uh, the Rodian is uh, clearly not that into it, uh, not really uh, paying attention. Um, yeah. Uh, so, Taiko, you're just watching and, and trying to stay out of sight, right? Yes. I'm I'm the man on the inside. Man on the inside. Let's have a man on the inside role. Um, I don't know what you what, what would you want to roll for, like keeping track of them and and giving Boca the signal at the at the right time. Prowl. Um. Yeah. If so you're moving about on unseen, staying out of sight, that would be <clears throat> that would be yeah. prowl. Um, let's see. I could push myself to get two dice on this. Pushing myself is one stress or two stress? Two stress. But you then you could also use your loose cannon thing. Yep. Um, then I will do that so i push my stress which makes it a six which means i'm rolling three dice that seems like a good plan this mm -hmm. is a stressful thing but i work better under stress anyway so let me see if the dice agree we had at my face-to-face -face game uh there was a person who was sick so he remoted in and we had a laptop on the table. And unfortunately, one of the players decided they would whisper with an NPC. And he had, oh. he, he was like, <laughs> I appreciate you guys doing stuff in character, but I can't hear you. Can you whisper loudly? It's funny. <laughs> oh, here we go. Three dice. A five is the best of my dice. I, yeah, I think you're, you're in a think you're in uh oh yeah we just that good position position mm -hmm. here sorry we should have yeah that feels risky uh, before um so risky position so you can do it with a consequence um so i think you notice when they're leaving uh and you can you can radio boko um I think it's just uh let me check your uh yeah in order to to maintain your cover and make sure that you blend in you're going to have have to spend a credit uh on on the gambling and the drinks and maybe 
uh, greasing some hands here and there to uh, ah, it'll cost me, huh? Yeah, but you can resist that if you want to. I'm not playing ahead of us, so I'm not very good at resisting things anymore. Let's see, do I have a cred to pay? I do. I'll I'll spin freely. That sounds. Yeah, I spin freely, but I'm enjoying things. So I'll, I'll take some pleasure in mm-hmm, mm-hmm. letting the spice flow, as it were. Yeah. So how do you signal Boko? Uh, do you use your comms or is it something else? I think I use my comms, but in a kind of SOS fashion where I just click it a few times. So... I'm not pulling it up to my mouth, but <laughs> I've just got it down. Kind of like the guy who's sending a text without, you know, having a phone out and watching it type deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, so, Boko, you get the signal. Um, and um, you see Vruvo and the other in his crew. Uh, they're leaving. They're, they're just w- walking out the exit the way they're supposed to do. Um, yeah, you have uh, you have an opportunity to take your shot. All right, I'll take a deep breath, exhale, and uh, slowly squeeze the trigger on his head. Ooh. Um, that looks like hunt, which I'm good at. <clears throat> you are very good at hunt. <laughs> That's my job. Um, I'm also gonna push. Just get an extra die. <clears throat> Make it five. Yeah, so you're also in a risky position, but I think you have <clears throat> strong effect here. Or great effect. Um yeah, I'll go with those five dice. Let's see what happens. Crit. That's a crit. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you nailed Ruvo. It's just blasting him straight through the head. Um, he drops. Uh, the others scatter uh, almost immediately. Uh, the uh, human woman uh, kind of kneels over him and then realizes that he's he's just gone. So she she uh, also uh, runs into cover somewhere. Um, yeah, I just exhale, flip my scope down, and slowly start packing my stuff away and make for an exit. Yeah. So I think yeah. I'm the I'm the getaway driver. Yeah. Um. So I'm down. If you're up on top of a building, do you think I'm waiting for you downstairs, or have I pulled up like a speeder to like a window so you can get up, get in? Ooh. Um. Speeder to a window sounds like more fun. So let's do that. Yeah. I think I hear the crack or I see the, the little click happen. <clears throat> and that's whenever I move the speeder up to the window so you can jump out that way. Yeah. Yeah, I do exactly that. And probably like a floor or two down to like go down a, a Star Wars fire escape and a <laughs> <laughs> hop on the back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um... Tap, tap, Actually, budget. on on the way there, um, you uh, you pack up uh, your rifle. You go into the building, um, and you you go down the like the first flight of stairs, uh, and you turn and you're just about to go down the second flight of stairs uh, when someone steps out of the shadows and presses a blaster into your back. Um, oh, the instinct is to turn around and take a swing, but I think instead he just like immediately freezes. I, I don't think I put my hands up. I think I just stop. Mm-hmm. Hello. <clears throat> and what this is, is a voice you recognize. This is Karnok. Mm. Um, she's standing right behind you. Uh, she's got uh, a blaster right in the in the small of your back. Um, hello, Boko. Interesting to see you back down here. 
yeah i just came down for a um quick quick shot i'll be out of your hair in just a few moments i uh, it's interesting that we uh, seem to be on the same side this time oh did rubo piss you off too you know that uh, uh, the Moon Minox work for us. He's been uh, interfering with their operations. Oh, I can give you an address to send some credits to you if you like. Oh, I, I don't think my employers are interested in paying you after the fact. If you have taken the job from them, maybe. Satisfaction is the payment enough for me right now. <clears throat> good, good. So are you here to clean up the mess? No, I'm just uh, curious to hear if you have any plans on returning down here or if this is a one-time thing. This is going to be a friendly conversation. Maybe we can do it without the blaster. I don't I think could, so. like take a step forward and start to turn around. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um I think you need to make a roll for that. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> um I, I almost feel like it's a consort at this point. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Consort works. <laughs> uh we're being all friendly. Um can I get a devil's bargain? Um yeah, and uh, I think that was bargain here would be that Bade gets distracted by something, which prevents her from from like reacting to that you're you're being delayed. Mm. Uh, so some something happens that that uh, prevents Bade from from like getting involved right now. Does that sound fair to you, Stephen? Yeah, yeah, that sounds fun. Do you think you'll take that, Mark? That sounds okay, unless someone else has something else. Um, I think that that, that distraction is I'm watching um, Vruvo's three people on the ground, mm. what they're doing and trying to make sure that they stay back. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah, I'm okay with that one. Ooh. Let's make some friends then. Um, or... Four. Uh, so you do it, but there's a consequence. Um, I think you like take a st step forward and start to turn around. Um, and sh when you do that, she pushes you uh, like. That so that you almost fall down the next flight of stairs, mm -hmm. uh, and she when you 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 spin around, she grabs you like by the the front of your uh, your jacket. So she, now she's the only only thing holding you up from from falling down the stairs, and she still got the blaster like jammed into uh, into your stomach instead of of in your back. Does right. that sound okay? Yeah, I love that. And yeah, at this point, my hands do go up. <laughs> but both to, both to uh, show that I'm not holding uh, and to help keep my balance a little bit, but that's not going to do anything. Um, cool. Uh, okay. Let's cut back to Tycho. Um, you watched uh, Vruvo leave. Uh, you see him drop right outside. Um, there's no immediate reaction inside. There's not like you're the only one that's like standing watching the the exit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, do you just hang around, or is this time for you to leave as well? If we didn't have a plan, my dice are hot. Maybe I I stick around. I you know I look to see. Ruvo goes down. That's successful. That's the whole thing. If I go out there, I'm going to get roped into it, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'll just hang out here and go back to the so, tables. Yeah. 
uh, babe, you see this as well. Uh, the man, the male human, uh, once he's he's collected himself uh, from the the immediate shock, he runs back into into Scarbo's, um, and uh, yells about uh, Ruvo's been killed. Ruvo's been killed. And there's a, a kind of a not not panic, but there's a commotion. Uh, Hogax runs over to him, and and some of the the patrons uh, get upset and, and kind of scatter a bit. They they don't run outside because obviously there's there's something dangerous going out there. But some people like run out the back or or that. Sort of thing. So I think among that excitement, I kind of eased the speeder. You know, I'd been in a position where I could see the front of Skirbo's, but I think I ease it back um, around the corner so it can't be seen. And um, I think I think the plan all along, just to retroactively declare yeah. something, was Tycho can't be made, right? Tycho hasn't been seen by Vruvo or his team, but both Boko and myself have. So mm -hmm. I think we're we're to stay out of sight. You can just walk off like a civilian. You're fine, Tycho. And I think I click over to Boko and, you know, do a little click click, you know, like what's going on. And I whenever I don't get an answer, I think that's whenever I actually come over the comm. And I'm like, Boko, let's head out. Um yeah, so back to Boko. Uh Karnok, she's um she's watching your face uh and she has um kind of a almost a quizzical look uh on her. Um just Remember that if you come back here for any more jobs, please do the courtesy of informing my employers. They don't like freelancers. taking this kind of action on their turf without their knowledge. Do you want to give me a number I can call? Or should I just leave a leave a, a holocron in a garbage can or something? Oh, you're connected enough to, to find some. Zori can... Uh, convey any messages if you can't um, find a better way. Is do we know is Zori working for Black Sun or is Yeah Zori is that news to us? Zori, okay, is, yeah. Uh, Zori leads the Moon Mine Ox. They sell uh, right. they sell drugs for, for Black Sun. Cool. Uh, all right. Okay. Zori it is. Not the Maybe you wanted to give us some more personal attention, but I'm happy if that's not the case. Well. Oh, maybe. We'll see. And she drops you. Uh, yeah. And as, as you grab hold of something, she steps into the shadows and, yeah. and disappears. Yeah, I think Boko probably clumsily falls down the stairs. It's not... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so um, with Karnak out of the way, I don't think Boko will have much trouble uh, getting to, to the speeder. Um, then it's just a question of getting out of here. Um, Bade, you spot a patrol of droids uh, marching down the street, uh, or kind of... Uh, Hustling along, I guess they're not just walking; they're they're 
I mean, droids don't run really. They're kind but, of double timing uh, it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, they look like street psych droids. Street psych uses droids from time to time, but you've never seen a full patrol of only droids before. Mm. Uh, which this is usually there's at least a human commander, and typically it's like three humans and one or two droids. But this is like a full patrol of five droids, just double timing it towards Skirbox. I think that as uh, I just try and remain invisible don't see don't look up and then i think as boko enters the the speeder i'm like what kept you we've got to get out uh old friend i uh, had a few words kurnok was in there <sighs> look at you making friends so i think it's like yeah um and i'm gonna do our best not to like speed away but to slip into traffic yeah yeah, yeah. so let's see a roll for that Okay. So I don't think that's actually going to be driving, right? Uh, so that's not going to be finesse. That might be like consort. Just to um, kind of slip in. I'll even. Yeah, consort Prowl? is more like a, a social thing. Yeah. Thing. Prowl. I like prowl. Prowl, prowl definitely works if, if you're yeah. like trying to to stay under the radar um yeah do you do you have a devil's bargain um traffic is very slow uh so you're gonna it's gonna take a while for you to get out of the the general area yeah i think that's fine i'll take that um i think i'll push myself as well um Ooh, you have quite a lot of stress i do so i think that's four dice so let's see what that mm -hmm. looks like i got a five i needed to push myself yeah. So five um, is do it with a consequence. Yeah. Um, I think um, let's do this. Uh, I, I'll, I'll introduce the, the consequence via, via Tycho. Uh, Tycho, you're still at Scarbo's. Uh, Hogux has uh, stepped out to like open open the door and and look outside without actually going outside. Mm -hmm. uh, he sees Bruvo lying there in the street. Um, he he kind of pokes his head out, looks around for a bit, uh, and then these droids uh, come hustling down the street and straight into Scarbox. Like two of them take position uh, by by the body, and the other three they they uh, walk in. Um, um, and you hear the the uh, droid sergeant, I guess it is, uh, command squad commander. Uh, in any way, in in any case, uh, he he radios in, and of course, this is like. Because these are Star Wars droids, it's not like a silent radio signal. It's he's actually speaking in comms. Um, uh, disturbance at um, the shards of Alderaan. Uh, lethal outcome. Um, set up roadblocks. Uh, so the consequence that that will hit Bade is that. Uh, there will be roadblocks. They they will start like searching vehicles, that sort of thing. Uh, mm. They have time to to set that up, but you can resist that if you want. No, um, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna. Oh, sorry, it's it's Bade who who. Oh, or, Bade. Yeah, actually, sorry. someone else can resist it for Bade. So, uh, yeah. I'm not. Let's see. So they're going to set up roadblocks, and we would get caught in that roadblock. 
Um, maybe uh, it depends. It's it's a uh, uh, some it's an obstacle that you will need to deal with in in some yeah. way. Yeah. Um, let me see if I can resist that. Yeah. Cool. So, what do you want to resist? Then? Um. Again, I think that that's probably resisting it with prowess. Because that's prowl, right? You're just trying to slip in unobserved. Um, yeah, if you're relying on on like your your finesse driving, if if you're trying to look for ways to like exit this and slip in slip away on a back street, it could be insight, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Could be resolved for for some reason either. But I mean, you have you have four dice in, uh, or with the extra uh, I think it might be insight I think I like your idea I like it as insight in order to watch for better ways to go maybe yeah. either bypass them or something like that so let's see what that mm -hmm. looks like um, nice that's a crit okay so you clear one stress oh is that true uh, okay yeah. yeah, you you got a crit on a resist, but uh, it means clear one stress. Uh, so I think what happens is uh, you spot uh, like a big um, transport crawler uh, mm -hmm. that makes a turn uh, out of of traffic and into uh, off onto uh, a side street, and you slip in on on the back side on, on the outside of it. Uh, so that the the patrol further down the street is setting up a roadblock, they don't spot you, and so you're you're out of uh, out of that area where they're where they're setting up the uh, the roadblocks. Phew. Cool. So back to Tycho. Um, the droids are starting to to question people uh, in Skirbos and Hogax is is up in their face, but they don't they don't care. Uh, they're just doing what they're sent there to do. Feels like things are starting to get hot. I think I will attempt to pull a fade here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to go. So, part of me, oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe, no, no, no. I'll try to calm Bade. Hey, Bade. I don't know if Bade's busy, but that's who I'd reach out to. Um. Yes. Um. This better even be important. Remember, we're supposed to keep calm silence. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, uh, I What's know. Up? Listen, there are a bunch of droids in here questioning people. Just stick around and see if I overhear anything or famous. That means go. Yes, yes. Um, I th so I think you're best off just act acting like a normal patron. So we don't need any more information unless you hear something, but don't try. The important thing here is you get out. Okay. So... Don't try and sneak out like you've done something wrong because you haven't. It's true. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And uh, lose this communicator. Drop it in an incinerator. Because they'll be able to trace this, right? Yeah, true. True, true. Okay. Yeah. See you later. And then he'll take off. Uh, try to to just walk out like he owns the place after ditching the comm unit. Because if mm -hmm. I do blow this and get caught, I don't want to have it on me. Cool. Um, yeah. Are you prowling out or are you doing this in some other way? It's a great question. Could be some social skill, could be something else. Yeah. Um, 
little bit of deception. So I think sway. Uh, and I'll push myself, which means I'm rolling four dice. <laughs> this works great when it works. <laughs> Oh, six and a five. Oh, almost. Oh, I can, I can taste. Yeah, taste. I think uh, one of the droids is about to to stop you uh, when this human who was with Vruvo like grabs the droid and I, I saw him exactly what happened and and uh, tries to like get up in the in the droid's face uh, and that distracted enough that you could just walk up. Nice. Um, I owe that person who didn't know they were helping me. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you can you walk past the two droids um, who are standing over uh, Ruro's corpse. Uh, you don't see the other two gang members. Uh, unsure. Uh, un uncertain where, where they are. Um, but it seems like you can just uh, walk away. I'll do that. I will oh. walk away. Um, I am going to make Orson roll. Yep, you can just walk away. It's fine. Everything's fine. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so uh Bade and boko how are you getting out of 1313 and back to 1340 because i think at this point you can get away from from this general area you're not directly at risk um how did we get down did we come through the the rend or did we get a, get a ride um I, I don't think we specified yeah uh, it's not super important i just want to see like yeah. what what's your your exit strategy is. so i think at this point we don't need to sneak out yeah. um i don't remember if we brought the ship down or not but we can either go up the legitimate way or um i yeah. think at least boko just traveled like a, a regular yeah, uh, the uh, official way. Yeah, that seems like the lowest profile way to go. Cool. And um, um, I think we should probably wait for Tycho and all three of us go up yeah. at the same time. Yeah. So we have a meet point and then we'll go up. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so let me check. Um, you're still wanted on 1313. Uh, so I think you need to make some kind of role to to get through customs. Like there's been a, a, a relatively serious crime for 1313. I mean, someone got shot in the street. That happens, but you know, um, this is in a in a moderately uh, upscale area, so it's it's more of a big deal. Um, so yeah, I'd like to see some kind of role. You can make it a cool. group uh, yeah. role if you want to. Um, group action sounds good. Yeah. How do you do this? Because you you can definitely just get on the on the ferry and and go up, uh, but that means you you risk running into uh maybe they're doing checking people more than they usually do but maybe not i almost want to say it's a prowl just to kind of you know, be in be, be in a different car when the ticket collectors come through um i don't know what what do y'all think that makes sense Um, so if we're making this a group action, who wants to lead? Um, 
I will go ahead and lead it. Thank you. (laughs) Yeah, since I've been on point. Sorry, who who took it? Poco? Yep. Cool. Um so I think I think Vade, your accidentally shot by Tycho Harm is going to play in here. Mm. Okay. Um, because that will draw attention, like you're 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 moving a, a bit stiff from being injured. Um, same thing with Boko. You get shiv. You're shivved. You still haven't healed fully, uh, yeah. so you have reduced effect. I'm not sure if that's going to matter here. I guess if your roll is the highest, then the reduced effect will will uh, kick in. That seems fair. I mean, yeah. sucky, but fair. But, yeah. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, I'll go so ahead. Oh, you can't just... help each other, but you yeah. can push yourselves. You can't take them as bargain. Yeah, I ugh, uh I'm not pushing myself. I'm relying on my team. And a five. Not too bad. I also top a five. And I am going to push myself. I th- so I'll roll. And I think the pushing myself is I mouth off to Tycho. Like, you know. The shot here that you gave me. Oh. <laughs> uh, I I th- like, I did uh, genuinely apologize. <laughs> right. Apologize doesn't fix it. Apologize <laughs> just says you don't want to do it again. That's true. I don't want to do it again. Yeah, and I got a five. five. Okay. So I guess my five counts because it's not reduced effect. Eh. Eh. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Uh, you, since it, it, it was only if, if Boko's result had been the highest, uh, the single mm. highest, then you'd have to go with that. But uh, you can go with anyone. No one failed, so you don't get any stress. Um, but there is success with the consequence. Yeah. Um, so you get on board the ferry. Uh, without trouble. Um, I think I think someone else is on the ferry who recognizes you. Uh, who would be interesting? Oh, um, I think uh Boko, uh just as the ferry is about to take off, uh you see Kernock stepping on uh as well. <laughs> uh right in the back, uh just watching you. I just got a like little little nod and stay quiet. Hey Boko. Don't look, but there's a really hot girl who seems to be into you. Yeah, don't uh, don't draw attention. She looks though. a little I dangerous. Don't want to scare her off. She's really <laughs> hot, though. Wow. Nice work. You know, that's uh, a little once jealous. You go blue. Once you go blue, that's. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you go uh, go up to thirteen fourteen, uh, start to to uh, get off. No, no trouble there, and Kernok gets lost kind of in in the crowd. You uh, uh, you're kind of at the front, uh, closest to to the exit. She's at the back, so she's uh, uh, she's hanging back. And uh, you leave before her. I think maybe mm-hmm. hang out on the platform to see if she just followed us up to make sure that we got off or if she's also coming up. Cool. Um, 
sounds like survey, maybe. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, yeah, I'll just do two dice for that. I don't think I'm gonna push. Um, yeah, let's do it straight up. Hmm, that's a couple twos. She's nowhere to be seen. Uh, huh. You have no idea where she is uh, <laughs> and what happened to her. Got lost in the crowd or, or something happened. You don't see her leave the uh, uh, the ferry. But there, there, there's quite a lot of people, so it's, yeah, you're just not sure what, what happened to her. Um, yeah, like maybe we should take uh, three different ways back to the ship, just in case. Okay. Yeah, split the party. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna circle back and try to hook up with that lady or something? Oh no, no, I'm uh, I'm all I'm all right on that front. I'll see you back at the back at the club. Okay. I think we'll cut it there. Um, and the job. Um. Let's do the, uh, the fallout from the job, and then we'll take a break. So um, let me see. Payoff. There was no one else paying you to do this job, so you don't get any money. Uh, don't think this counts as keeping the operation completely quiet. Uh, so you do get rep. Um, but I think you only get one rep because the shadow horns is a tier. Yeah, they're a tier below you, so you only get the one. Uh, if someone could add that to the crew sheet, that would be great. Because I'm getting lost on all the tabs. <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that. Cool, thank you. Um, so, heat. Um, I think this is contained standard exposure. It's not loud and chaotic, but it's not smooth and quiet either. There was like some, some commotion. Uh, so that's two heat. Um, I think at this point, Ruvo does count as being well connected because he is hooked up to uh, at least to Skirbo and, and some other uh, movers and shakers. So that's three heat. Um, the action did happen on hostile turf, like 1313 is not your home anymore. Um, you're not at war. And killing was involved, and this was definitely not a case where you could just yeah. clean up the bodies. Um, that six key. I'll go ahead and throw that on to you. 13, 13. Wow. Ooh. Six. All right. I mean, you just you you shot someone in the street. It's yeah. it's going to uh, that, that's kind of noisy. Yeah, I know. It's just neat that the mechanics. Pretty, pretty effectively modeled. You know, people yeah. are freaking out about that. that that's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. Um. So your heat is six, and your wanted level is two. Let me. Entanglements. Heat is six. So that's two dice. Um. Yeah. Entanglement. Four, dark bargain or show of force. Mm. Powerful individual faction offers you a deal. Accept it. Time and surveillance interest. Uh, uh, show of force. Faction you have negative status with makes a play for one of your holding. Give them one claim or lose one holding. Turn up and go to war. Yeah. Um, I know what that is. Um, 
this is yeah so um a couple of days later um you're hanging out uh in the club um trying to to plan your next move uh when uh too many tabs <laughs> uh, uh when uh, kevel your uh, kevel nirobal your um, uh contact in house nirobal uh she shows up marches straight in with like 10 uh household guards i guess they're they're in like house nirobal's colors uh they're carrying blaster carbines they just march straight into uh into the club um are you all down in the bar uh to see this or uh are you somewhere else look who's probably in the bar sure i'm in the bar yeah cool uh so kiva uh, she marches straight in and she's asking for Tritzi. Hmm. Is Tritzi there? Um, yeah, she's probably upstairs. Or in the in the in the back room. Yeah. So she like points to to the bartender. Uh, get me Tritzi. Um, and her. The, the, these guards, they kind of start like pushing the patrons out. Uh, and some of the gang members kind of uh, resist. They, uh, they're not too happy about this. So it's, it's going to come to blows uh, pretty quickly if, if mm -hmm. no one steps in. I think whenever it starts to come to blows, Right as you know, they're about to be thrown. I'm going to step in, and you know, step between like the guard and the gang member who's throwing the punch, and mm -hmm. kind of you know, put an arm on them and walk them out, walk them to the door, just as an example to say, you know, we've got this. You go ahead and it's time to go. Don't show off here. Yeah, I think this is Court Black. Uh, who's, ah. uh was very eager to to uh, not be a pushover uh, and, and show how how tough he is, and he's kind of uh, really you you you're letting them throw us out of our own bar. This is in our that case. Place. In that case, I deck him. Like he <laughs> he goes to throw some, he goes to punch you know one of the security normal security guys, and he mm -hmm. mouths off to me. I deck him and drag him out and toss him out the door. <laughs> yeah. And then look around and you know tell everyone else to get out. Cool. Yeah. Um yeah, so so everyone gets out and uh, um I think uh Kelfor, uh who's the guy who brought in Court Black and some uh some others, he kind of gives you the stink eye, but he he ushers his his guys out, uh, but he's clearly not happy about it. Um, and uh, Esnada, I think she she looks at you, Boko, and uh, kind of like, should I be worried? Um, I think In... Boko's just like, sit down, like mouth sit down, and just yeah. So she. Uh, uh she she stays uh inside um uh, almost everyone else is has been ushered out um so does Tritzi come down yeah i think so yeah uh so uh Kivo, mm -hmm. she's standing there uh kind of hands on her hips uh Fritzi, how nice of you to join us. You had to bring a party here, huh? Is it your birthday? 
You're in no position to make jokes. I've given you a job to do, and you're not doing it. Keep talking. You know what you're supposed to do. What? Keep these jokers in line? You're supposed is there anyone here who uh, cannot be trusted? Look around and... No, we're all friends. <clears throat> You're supposed to be breaking up the alliance between uh, the rebels and uh, our rivals. Some things take time. There's a lot of, uh, <clears throat> a lot of, uh, a lot of cards in play. Yeah, you're not touching those cards, as far as I have seen. Well, sometimes patience is a virtue, you know? It seems like you could learn that lesson here, but... This could put... This this uh, this little sh sh parade here could put a kink in our plans. There, I trust everyone here, but you never know who's watching. My patience with you has completely run out. You're clearly not um, as competent as I thought you were. Oh, so you're just shoot me in the face like you did with, um, I say the guy's name, uh, what's his name? <laughs> I say that like in front of everyone and give, <laughs> and give our other uh, cohort a... Uh, Tycho is they, reached you know, underneath. He's, yeah. he's doing a little bit of the Han Solo, like yep. <laughs> pulling the little safety catch on the blaster holster just in case. <laughs> Where's, um, our, where's our graveyard? What was his name? Yeah. But uh, not Feldrin. Uh, we got a lot of dead people. <laughs> Zorak. Yeah. You gonna shoot, just come in here and shoot me in the face like you did with Zarak? Oh no, you're still potentially useful. I'm just going to uh, reclaim some of these distractions that apparently keep you from doing your actual job. Uh, I'll take over running this uh, bar now. So uh, you can you get out like of the here and, type. and uh, hang out in that warehouse or whatever it is you've been <laughs> spending your time on. And uh, I think again, I like give especially like Tycho and Bade, and if uh, if Al is there, like, what what do y'all think about this? <laughs> uh, so game mechanically here, yeah. Uh, either you give up the club, or you go to war with. That's, yeah. uh, <laughs> that, that, those are the options here. What what kind of uh what kind of look back do I get from the crew? I go with shrug like it's just a bar. And I, so Beta has no problem giving up the bar. I have more of a problem with the appearances. Yeah. Like she comes in, kicks everybody out, takes over the bar. Um Let's see if I wonder if we could negotiate. Um, Boko also doesn't care. He's this is like our third or fourth hangout. So, <laughs> so I think Bade's going to step up and tell uh, Kivel, um I understand your position. I'm sorry. I thought we had prove, proven ourselves to you. Um, that we knew what we were doing. And I understand the need to... Uh, sorry. Teach a lesson. But I hope you also understand that... And, and take the bar. It's fine. I don't think anyone here is going to turn against you. But... I think that you understand that you're undermining our ability to maintain the peace by stomping in here and 
just taking the bar from us. You're making the job we're trying to do for you harder. And while we can be good, we aren't looking to uh, make, we're, we're not looking to make things unnecessarily difficult. So can you work with us to make this look like we've sold the bar to you or make this look like um, it was our choice and after we do prove that we do good jobs, we get the bar back. Um, let's see a role for this. I think yeah. this feels like sway. Um, yeah. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Cool. Um, do you have a devil's bargain? Um, Esnada is going to lose respect uh, with you for for like pleading and bargaining with with this highfalutin noble person. Yeah. Um, I don't think I care about that. So yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> You can take a flying leap. Harsh. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Um, let's set up the stakes. So this yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're in a risky position, and I think you have limited effect here, but that's kind of included in in your your bargain that you're you're just trying to mitigate a little bit. You're not you you're not trying yeah. for something big. Okay. So let me roll that. Ooh, six. I got a six. Nice. Um, she looks at you. Um, let me see. So your suggestion is basically that to to. You're willing to give up the bar, just make it look good. Uh, um, yeah, I wanted. And maybe you get it back if you if you uh, do well uh, later. Yeah, I, I wanted them to work with us so that we don't lose face, mm -hmm. so we can continue to do our job, and once we've proven ourselves, we get the bar back, no problem. We've yeah. earned Ooh. their trust at that point. Yep. Yeah. So she looks at you, uh, and then she turns to to Tritzy. Um, I'm surprised you let this street trash speak for you, uh, but I'm sure we can work something out to uh, allow you to continue uh, maintaining your presence here without too much trouble. I'll just send someone to uh, manage business and uh... sure, if you uh, if you handle this in an expedient fashion, then uh, I'll let you have it back. Very generous. Don't. Test me. You work for me. All clear. This is your top priority. You're not doing anything else until this is done. Is that clear, everybody? We're not doing anything else until this is done. <laughs> um. Oof. <laughs> uh, I think you need to make a roll here because you're still kind of uh, getting Sassy. on your nerves. <laughs> um. What? So yeah, I want to see what this roll is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um. What do you think? Hmm. Do 
don't know. It was definitely not consorting. <laughs> <laughs> um sway maybe maybe yeah the kind of manipulating thing you're not commanding i don't think it, feel, it feels like a like a almost like less of a test of something that we're doing and uh, more of a test of like yeah, how much okay. how much um, shit she's gonna put up with. Let's make it a resistance roll. I was um, gonna say um, let me make a suggestion. Yeah. What if it's a study to see how she would best how the normal lady would best respond what the best way to respond to her? Because I was thinking whenever you whenever Tritzy said that, I was like, oh, Bade needs to hit Tritzy like she did the guy at the front <laughs> to put her in her place. And I thought about it, and I'm like, no, I'm not sure that that's the best way to handle the house normal lady because she might be like, why is street trash hitting yeah. the noble person, right? So that's why I had to think about it. And so I want to go back to um, what's the best way to handle her, and that might be a sway. Or, no, a study. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um... Yeah, sure. Let's do that. We could also do it as a resistance roll. If you, I feel if you like um, it, we we can back up back up the fiction a bit, but mm -hmm. with what we've played through, I feel like we're we're at the point where something's going to happen unless yeah. you. So I think I, I like the idea of a study, but I think that would have been like before you you got this far. If that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. and I, and I think Tritzy's intention is to like verbally comply while still like getting under her skin mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah and then i think uh either sway to like thread the line uh mm. between uh, two serious or or resist uh, or make it a resistance role to uh to avoid uh her i like i like the idea of a resistance role that sounds fun cool like how that how that would work I think this would kind of have to be insight. Um, cool. But that's cool. if you, if you want to to uh, make an argument for for something else, I'm open to it. I feel like it almost might be resolve, just because it's like an attitude thing. But sure. I think sure. it's gonna be two dice, two dice either way, or three dice, I guess. Yeah, three dice. Yeah. Uh, Okay, resisting getting my ass kicked. No, oh, a six. Oh, zero stress. <laughs> I know these noble types. I know they can't do anything without. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, yeah, they, can, so... only, they can only talk at such a big game before having to tip their hand. I don't think she's ready to do that. <laughs> but she's yeah, not, she's not going to shoot up the place. Yeah. Uh, I think you you just you keep your tone like just. Uh, on the right side of of uh, obsequious as a, yeah. as opposed to defiant that if she does something she looks bad in front of her guards and she doesn't yeah. want to do that so <laughs> nice. uh, but she knows what you're doing there's no oh, yeah. question about that so <laughs> not hiding uh, that at all she gives you a very angry look um you have one week to do to have some significant progress to report, and then she turns around and, and walks out and just waves for the for the guards to to, to follow. Yeah, for one week to do it. Make it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to remove your cantina from your turf from your holdings. Yeah, um, let's take a break. Um uh is yeah so um yeah as we talked about let's have a scene where where you discuss like in the aftermath uh right Kimura's left uh you're in the bar 
the the gang is starting to kind of filter back in again some of the patrons but i assume you you'll go to some place where you can discuss uh without interference <laughs> maybe to the warehouse and start looking at how we're going to set up the space <laughs> <laughs> well this is probably the last time we can have a discussion here at the bar mm. before is she we... letting us do that or i thought she was escorting people out like we were being kicked out um since since you succeeded on the on the kind of bargaining uh thing uh she's just going she's going to send someone uh who will take over managing you will be out of there but you don't need to leave this okay minute. cool yeah. cool sorry so we save appearances but we're yeah. we're essentially out yeah. yeah. So we can't trust this place anymore. So I think we go downstairs to those rooms, those meeting rooms that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, we should have the discussion first of, you know, setting up the warehouse. We should also talk about who we need need to let know that this isn't necessarily a safe place for all of us anymore. Like, do we have any allies that would come here expecting things to be private that House Normal shouldn't know about? And then third, we can have that discussion about how do we poke them in the eye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think Bade goes down and kind of lays it down in those terms. This is what we need to do right now. Any ideas? Preferences? Tycho? Ideas on what again, Bade? Um, how do we set up the warehouse? Who do we let need to let know that this place isn't the best place for clandestine meetings anymore? And third, you know, do we hit back at House Normal and how? Well, we definitely hit back. Oh yeah. And the the warehouse is a place of business, not of meetings. I think we should find someone we can trust for any gang business meetings. Eyes will be on the warehouse. That's where she expects us to be. Are we actually going to work on the thing that she just took our bar away from us to do? Oh, yeah, I think we should. I mean, if we just go hit them, they're prepared for that. Did you see all the people they came in with? But if we act like good little puppies and do what she asked then we hit her it hurts a little bit more right Mm -hmm. i have a suggestion for where we can have our meetings if we need to what about that donut shop we've been going to i think that's an excellent idea that is a great idea i like that donut shop a great deal (laughs) Outside of Coruscant, the n- things are changing. And this rebel faction, they've got a great deal of pluck. And they went out. If we hurt them now, it could hurt the gang down the road. If we help them, it might it obviously will hurt Naramal's interests and may gain us some allies. I wasn't thinking about hurting the resistance. I was thinking about hurting House, House. Galash. Yeah. Yes, that does sound pleasant. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Maybe so I, I hear we... you. I have an idea for how we might do that. Hmm. Uh, since Galosh is giving them some sort of support or resources, maybe we can um, expedite that process and get uh, some more of Galosh's repot resources and send them to the rebels. Make it look like the rebels took them. Uh, what Galosh is mainly giving them is information. Because mm. they're embedded in the in the right, uh, right, right the bureaucracy, and they have a lot of pull there. 
Mm. And of course, they can do some material things, but they're not. Oh. They don't have easy access to like huge caches of weapons or that sort of. So maybe the the two the two avenues, two possible avenues, are um, hit House Galash and steal something from them, give it to the rebels, or just tell the Empire that they're working with the rebels. Yes, I mean, let the Empire find out and take care of House Galash, and can we angle that in such a way so that it makes one of our trusted advisors um, look good to the Imperials so we can continue feeding information to the rebels just through a different path? So yeah. Doesn't somebody have a brother-in-law or a sister-in-law in the Imperials? Petra. Uh, mm. on 1313 who works in security uh, down there uh, and she she leads the um, forgetting what I call them uh, Code Phoenix the, uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, rebel aligned um, imperial bureaucrats so we hook up Petra with the rebel the uh not Max's anymore, right? It's, uh... Yeah, Max is out. The it rebels. was the second. Yeah, they, they're already. Yeah. Uh, Petra works with with Tor and oh, uh, cool. Becker, uh, oh, good. who are the rebel leaders on thirty thirty. Um, but so... basically, if we could make it look like Petra is the imperial hero by turning in House Galosh, mm. it gets her a promotion. And access to higher level information that they sh that yes. she can feed back to Becker and Tor. I love yeah. it. Yeah, the, the the drawback is that it will hamper the rebels on thirteen fourteen, um, because if their contacts in the in the bureaucracy get purged, then they lose their uh, their their the advantage they can. Mm -hmm. What can we do to help like out the rebels on thirteen fourteen? Giving them advance notice would likely work against us. They they probably think Gosh is worth saving. Okay. So here's the deal. We what we don't want is we don't want the Empire to come down on House Galosh and the rebels on 1314 to come in to try and help them. Right? We don't want them to come back and think this is worth saving. We need to save our people. Which is what, you know, honorable rebel fighter fighters do. We need to kind of so, make it look like Galosh was fucking them. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So we need to make burn it on both burn the candle on both ends, right? Yeah. Yeah. And how do we make it look like um the 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 house galosh is screwing them over? Um money. We know House Galosh just goes in the direction of whoever they think is winning. That's why they went to the rebels. Um, and don't we have an in with the House Galosh driver, uh, Baytor? Mm, I think so. Yeah. Um, it sounds like you want to land information that makes it look like House Gilash was maybe tricking the rebels or or have decided to sell them out to to the Imperials. Have I got that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. Cool. That sounds like a, a, a job. Um, I don't think we need to plan it out in more detail than that. Is this two jobs? One job for 
uh, to convince the rebels that House Galash is betraying them, and then a second job to feed the information to Petra that House Galash uh, is betraying the Empire? Um, or is that one job? Feels like, to, to me, it feels like the job is planting the information. And mm-hmm. then you can just tell Petra that, right? Look here, and and she'll find it. Um, and it, it's easy. It's easy to let the Imperials know that House Galosh is feeding information to the rebels because they are. Yeah. Right. So you that should that be easy to see. Public. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. But the, the but the thing you need to fabricate is. Uh, to make the rebels believe that House Gilash was playing them instead of yeah. genuinely wanting to help. So, Tycho, you mentioned um, potentially doing a, uh, you know, the money. Mm-hmm. And we make have... it looked like they were getting some money to set up the rebels. Or maybe they're getting paid to shuttle information about the rebels back to the Empire. Mm, yes, that could work too. So there's there's the uh, accountant uh, droid, Mr. Wade, mm. who deals with criminals and launders money and then wipes his memory. Right? That's a part of the service. Mm-hmm. So that's a patsy that we could potentially use to make it look like you know, that's one of the people we could involve in that process. That's an excellent idea. So that's where we would drop the information is we would drop the information in Mr. Wade that um, House Galosh is taking money in order to betray the rebels. And then arrange it so that doesn't get wiped. Or partially wiped. That's why it looks funny. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I like that. Cool. So this feels like it's kind of a. This is not like a, a job you resolve like moment to moment, uh, if that makes sense. This feels like we will have a number of of scenes with with things mm. happen happening in different places. Um, maybe over a, a larger time period than we, we usually do uh, uh, mm-hmm. a job. Yeah. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. I mean, we could focus it on, on one particular bit, um, but I think it would at least be interesting to to try it out because this is also the thing with a uh, we, we've encountered with the higher tier jobs. This feels like a way to kind of try that out a bit. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I think we we have some some sort of idea on that. You may want to do some information gathering to to like find specific people to 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 involve or, or uh, go after. Um, or if you have people you, you know who are interesting, because I think for House Glash, we have at least the leader, and I think we have the driver. Um, you have Lon, who is kind of a, a go-between. Um yeah. And you have the uh their Master of Shadows, who is kind of the, the equivalent of Keeble uh on, on their side. Uh their spy guy or special operations, that 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 kind of thing. So we, we, we have some people you, you you can involve or but but maybe you, you need someone in a different position. Um you have some openings there. 
Uh, we have downtime activities uh, that you can get into. I think some of you may want to relieve some stress, for example. Uh, <laughs> uh, but we're on the hour now. Uh, so I think we, we take uh, a short break. Uh, and... Cool. Uh, so we're into downtime. Um, I think some of you want to do some stress relief. Uh, maybe something else, and like I said, some some information gathering for this job uh, of setting up House Gilash. Uh, yeah. So, who wants to go first? I think both Bade and Bade, Boko, and Taiko all kind of need stress relief. I think. Yeah. You want to do something together, like uh, we can do make it uh, make a little scene out of it, or do you want to do something else first, and we can do that later? Let's do gambling first, right? I think most of us have gambling. Yeah, yeah and if, I think uh, if uh, can... oh, sorry. If, uh, if Tycho wants to do a weird thing, I'm I'm down for that too. <laughs> uh. uh gambling i guess we're not welcome at skirbos so we're gonna find a new gambling house no no it was us true, true. do we have a gambling house on 1314 i thought we did um i think we've been yeah. gambling at our bar hmm I think you've done that. I think Bade at least has been to to Gold Street, like one of the big fancy casinos at some point. Mm. Um, you did go to one of the hot places. That's where you spotted uh, Ruvo when he was mm -hmm. doing his delivery. That's also an option. I think you... I think... I. We've been playing playing it a bit fast and loose with the with the whole vice purveyor thing. I, I don't feel like it's been worth uh, nailing you down to to something specific, except when it's like you you've been tapped out. Uh, yeah. If you you know if we go back to the to the hut place, we know that they're looking for you know someone to <laughs> smuggle stuff because they've lost their last access, right? That's their true. previous access. Uh, maybe um, I think I think what Boko found out last session was that that was kind of a one-off thing. Oh, mm -hmm. you're right. You're right. Uh, but you also have the huts, uh, or at least at, at minimum one hut leaning on you to throw in with them. Uh, you had a visit from uh, oh, yeah from uh, the one with the weird name. A grilb, uh, who also just slithered in and uh, started making demands. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dang those slithery huts and their demands. Yeah. So I don't mind hanging out around there, gambling a little bit, just making sure we're known while we set up the next job. Yeah, yeah, works for me. Plus, there's a mechanical benefit for indulging your advice with me because you can adjust your dice. Oh, yeah. All right. I found out just my, that. my hangovers aren't as bad when I'm around you. That's because we party all the time. I'm just saying. <laughs> a little bit of hair of the dog. A little bit of good time with bait. Indeed. Cool. So everyone wants to do some uh, gambling. Let's see the rolls, and we'll see how that plays out. Okay. By the way, this is not one of my vices, so I assume I'm just horning in on somebody else doing pursuing their vice, right? Um, I think the the way the way I want this to work is that you can join someone else. I'm I'm not sure if right. this is in the that's how I remember it going. Okay. I just want to make sure. Yeah, and the way that my thing reads is an ally who joins in your vice may do the same. Yeah. And I don't know that, Taika, we share a vice. I have pleasure in gambling. Yeah. 
So I don't think yeah, I can help you out. Sorry. The, the, the way I see it is you can, if someone is going to indulge your vice, you can join them in that activity and that counts as indulging your vice. Ah. Uh, mm. Just because it, it makes for, for more fun play than if everyone is like off doing their own things just because yeah, they I, don't have this. I really process. appreciate that. I think that's sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I'll roll to indulge my vice. Yeah, um, I think I rolled 3d6 and I got a six. Nice. And I'm going to nice. increase that by two. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and roll my 4d6. And that is a five. Well, if I can bump that up by one, that'll work. And I can bump my four up by one. Can. Okay. You can, bump you can up go up two, or I down by two. one or two. I'll push it to six then, right? Yeah. Because I have, I, I will not overindulge me. The life of. We're all feeling pretty good after a pretty easy job. Mm hmm. Yeah. We just happened to um, lose, you know, our, so home, you're... our business. <laughs> feeling pretty good after murdering someone. That's, yeah. Um, that's how it goes. <laughs> Uh, so you're hanging out at this hot bar, um, and I think uh, your this is a uh, it's a pretty wild place. Like the the atmosphere is is high. There's uh, there's like occasionally a fist fight will break out with, uh, at one of the gambling tables, and, and uh, it's a uh, it's a bit. Uh, wild and and crazy but it's like a happy wild and crazy for the most part it's 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 not like a grubby place it's uh they they, they weed out the people who don't fit in so they, they're not welcome back and when you're not welcome at a hot place then you either don't show up or you never show up anywhere <laughs> so um but i think like uh you're, you're, you're in the middle of, of partying, maybe taking a break from gambling to, to have a couple of drinks. Uh, when uh, Agriel uh, slithers over to your, your table, um, and he's in this weird cloak thing that he's wearing. He's, he's got some strange clothes thing going on. Um, ah, so nice to see my... My dear friends here at uh, at our place, have you uh, considered my offer? And ju just to to remind you, he wanted you to throw in with the huts instead of of house near. Uh, but I think we all know. Boko's not going to do that. So yeah, I, th I think Boko's <laughs> waiting no for Bade. Bade to. Yeah, so I think that Bade, you know, says, you know, you you're really smart with your timing, as you know. Um, House Nermal is at the easiest to work with, and you know. It's something we're definitely considering because of, you know, your reputation. I mean, look at all the fine uh, job and, you know, entertainment that you have here. Uh, you can't beat this. This is a really nice place. Is this your personal place? Uh, no, this is uh, managed by uh, one of my colleagues. Oh, Mr. Kerbo has his own place, doesn't he? Your cousin? Oh yeah, yes, down on thirteen thirty. Oh, how's he doing? Uh he's uh he's doing well for himself. He's uh, oh. broken away from the cartel, of course. I think you know that since you're from down there, but uh he's uh doing doing well I hear. But you don't own this place yourself, right? Sorry, I didn't catch that. You, you don't own this place like Skirbo owns his, right? Not me personally, no. 
Hmm. Well, maybe I, someday. Uh, I work in a in a different area of business. I guess Scarbo is just a little bit more ambitious. Well, Scarbo is uh, is his own hut. I prefer to work together. With, uh, he is that with the cartel? But uh, I won't. Uh, I won't pressure you anymore right now. Please enjoy, have fun. But uh, we'll we can uh, talk more at a future time, future date. Perhaps I'll uh, come by and uh, visit your establishment uh, again. You should do that. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. <laughs> Yeah, he he uh, slithers off again. I wonder how many times he's going to circle back to us before we have to give him an answer. Well, I don't know. If he goes back to our place at some point while House Nermal's there, it might be one less. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps. And then I toast. I toast, you know, to the Hudson House Nirmal. <laughs> the Hudson House Nirmal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I definitely meet that toast. Yeah, so do you want to play out anything um, there, or do we move on to, to some other activities? We're good there. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, so um, you're good on stress, it seems. I think um, I think Boko might be interested in reducing heat on 1313 a little bit. That's a good you idea. Can use your one of your um, uh, cohort for that as well. That's one yeah. of the actions they can do. Yeah. I'm not sure Boko has anything else he really wants to do, so I think that might be a personal personal job. Ooh, um, so, um, what's the plan? <laughs> um, uh, maybe calling up um, Zori and uh, I, I heard there's someone pleasant down there um, with with a Vruvo. Right, I, I think I talked to her about Vruvo before or asked her out. Right. Yeah. 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 I uh, heard there was some unpleasantness down there. Um, I heard that Black Sun took care of him before we <laughs> before we could get to him. You're going to pin this on on Karnok? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's it's better that they take responsibility for the, the oh thing that God. they wanted to do anyway. No, nice. no reason for us to steal their thunder. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. What do you want to roll for that? Um, that sounds like um, that sounds like a consort. Just kind of like sure. being chummy, chummy with. Um, that's two dice. I think that'll be okay. Um, yeah, let's see what happens there. Yeah, <laughs> not necessarily pinning it on them, but saying like, yeah, yeah, we yeah. heard, we heard that uh, <laughs> we heard that Kurnak did a really good job. Uh, hey, that's a six. Nice. That's three feet. Nice. Yeah. It's giving full credit where credit is due. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> 
So Tycho or Beige, do you have something or do you want to start working on, on the job, like trying to figure something out there first? I was looking at my character sheet because I thought at one point we detailed out a project around building up towards trying to spring Bria. But when I look on my sheet, I didn't put anything there. Do Am I misremembering? Um, what you did, I know uh, Val worked on setting up communications. Uh, like finding a way to to uh, get information to and from, and that's been that's finished, I think. Okay. Um, I can't find any other law related to that. I okay. don't think there's anything uh, prepared. All right, then uh, is there, are, are there any steps you imagine? Because I've got a uh, downtime to burn and I could totally help set up that thing if there's something. And if not, then uh, what's our heat look like on 1313? You're down to three on 1313, so that should be fine. Yeah, so those are the two I see. Or I could just train, I guess. Um, I, 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 there's absolutely things you can do related to, uh, to springing Bria, and you probably should do some preparatory work, mm -hmm. some prep work, uh, like uh, <laughs> because otherwise you just yeah will fly the ship right into the prison and hope she doesn't die and and try to get out of there. Or, I mean, you were for bait, I understand. <laughs> um, but some some suggestions would be trying to uh, recruit informants among the guards, um, like map out the prison, um, find some way to connect the tunnels that which you've used before, get that. To, to have that as an entrance or exit. Mm. Um, there's all kinds of, of that sort of thing you can do. Or or get guard uniforms if you want to do an acquire Ooh, asset. That nice, sort of thing. nice, nice. Credentials of, of various kinds. So do we want to cordon those into separate clocks or do we want to say it's one clock that is the prep? How do you want to shape this? Um, I think it depends on what you're doing. I think I'd like to see different. I, I'd like. I think I'd like them to be fairly specific, but I mean, some of them can just be an acquire asset role that would just one and done. Um, and for the others, it depends on kind of how ambitious the the uh, the activity is. I guess, like if you want to recruit. 20 guards to have on your payroll uh, who will do exactly what you say when you when you say it that's going to be a big thing but if you want like yeah we want a couple of guys who can who can get us some information then that's not as big of a deal mm. okay i kind of like that 20 guards on our side thing how many ticks is that Ooh. Um, like recruiting uh, a substantial number of guards. Yeah. Uh, at this point, like 20 guys is about the equivalent of a gang. I think you get, yeah, your gang has 20 people now. So that would mm -hmm. be the same as getting uh, a very specific cohort, I guess. Um, okay. So I think it shouldn't be too on the other hand it's kind of a tricky thing you can't just walk up to a guard and say here's hundred here's a uh, hundred credits you work for us now it, you, you have to kind of work at it for a while um I 
think, let me see, uh, I can find the clock there. Um, I think an eight clock feels reasonably fair. It's a substantial project, but it's, uh, it's doable. Cool. Recruiting prison guards sounds awesome. I think for my first attempt, uh, Tycho wants to just get near the prison and feel who would be the weak links, who doesn't love their job, try to attune himself to the beings who Ooh. might be amenable to this arrangement. You're like hanging out in the in the bars nearby and like yeah. dancing. Uh, yeah. Cool. All right, here we go. Got a five. I've, uh, That's two picks, I think. Feels right. I'll double check our rules. Yeah. Uh, two ticks. You can pay one credit to push it up to uh, three ticks, or you can pay, I think you can pay two credit uh, to increase, increase it to a crit, which would give you five ticks. Wait, pay how many to do a crit? Uh, two credits. I only got one credit right now, so... I'm then it's to... probably better to spend that if you want to spend it you can spend it on an additional downtime activity so you can uh, make another roll wow we're or not doing just... a whole lot of cred related games here i'm wondering if maybe Tycho just does his first initial foray gets a little bit of information and brings it back to the group and he'll try a different way i'm good with that cool so i think you you've picked up picked out uh, a few guards, a, a couple of people who uh, who give off um, vibes of of uh, being very happy to be off duty, I guess. Yeah, I like it. Ooh. That was Tycho's second. Babe still has a downtime activity left. Yeah, I need to see about recovering. Oh, yeah. So I need to go to... I need to find a medic. The only oh, one I... Dang I it, Val. Find... Talk to Val. I know. Uh, we could use Val as an NPC. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Okay. And whenever oh. Kai is back, we can have that as a uh, scene. Yeah. For sure. Uh, so Val has the medic ability, which means, but let's see, if. So Val would. Uh, Okay, so what the medic ability does, like mechanically, is giving everyone in the crew plus one die on healing treatment rolls. Um, hmm. And Val can, for the, these purposes, I would say that Val counts as a medic. Um, and then we look at their quality, and the quality, I think, would be the crew's tier at this point. So you would be rolling four dice for your healing. Okay. I think that. So no, sorry, tinker for a PC with a medic ability. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you're rolling two dice. Okay, that sounds good. Let's see what that looks like. That's a three, which gets me one tick. Yep. And I can spend a cred for another downtime activity? Yeah. I'm going to do that and roll that again. 
and see if I can get more than one tick. Mm -hmm. I think I rolled exactly the same thing. Uh, yeah. yeah, looks like it. Okay. That's what I got. Well, you're halfway to pushing that down to a <laughs> level one arm. So <laughs> That's right. Cool. Um, we're almost on the hour. Um, I feel like we're not quite at the point where we can make an engagement roll. I feel like you, you need to do some more setup. Um, is there any information gathering that someone know they want to do? Um, then we can play that out now. Otherwise, we can save it for, for next session. I'll give Savior for the next session. Cool. Yeah, I don't have anything in mind. Cool. Uh, then I think we should do XP. I almost forgot. Uh, it's been so long. Uh, so uh, crew XP, uh, you did not execute a smuggling or smuggling operation or acquired clients. Uh, I don't think you contended with challenges above your current station, or did you? I mean, unless we count, count Nirmal, that's, I don't know if we um, yeah, did anything I worthwhile think we can do. I, I think we can count that. That should be <laughs> one XP for that. Uh, did you both do a cruise reputation or develop a new one? You're currently daring, loyal, and mercenary. Oh, you actually have an advance pending also. Your, your XP track is... Uh, you know. Yeah, I noticed that. I wonder if we should... Reavers looks pretty great for stuff where... Plus one effect for vehicle damage. Ooh, yeah. Your vehicle, vehicle gains armor as well. I like that. I'll check it. Um, yeah, did you bolster your cruise reputation or develop a new one? I mean, you didn't exactly bolster your loyal reputation, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Doesn't feel like it, maybe. Uh, I do think you express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. Um, mm -hmm. I think you hit it at least once. I would agree. Um, I think the way we reacted to Niramal's uh, browbeating was said yeah, a lot yeah. about us. Cool. So once feels, I think that feels fair. So individual XP, let's start with Bade. Um, did you address a challenge with theft or guy? I don't think we stole anything. Um, let's see, Guile. Um, Sneaking about in traffic, kind of? I'm sorry, what was that? Uh, sneaking about in traffic, like when you were getting oh, yeah. up to the job. That Maybe. and, you know, discussing how we were going to deal with um, House Galosh and the Rebels. In my mind, you know, she was like, no, we don't do the frontal assault thing. We do the whole sneaky thing and let other people, let the Imperials mm. hit everybody. So I think that was Guile. So I think mm -hmm. that's one. Yeah. Cool. That sounds fair. Uh, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Um, maybe in the discussion with uh Tritzi about how, yeah, we're gonna poke House Nermal in the eye, but do it when they don't expect it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds fair. Yeah. Did you struggle with issues from your vice or trauma? I don't think so, no. 
I don't think so either. So I'm good. That's two total, I think. Yep. Cool. Uh, Boko. Address a challenge with tracking or violence. Yeah. I did address did. a challenge with violence, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think I did any tracking, though. No. Yeah, just, just the violence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you express your beliefs, drive stereotypes, or background? Um, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I did. Uh, I can't think of anything specific either. I mean, kind of teasing. Uh, uh, what's his name about? How Skirbo's independent and he he isn't <laughs> might be a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. I think you you take that, take that for underground. Poking a hut is kind of a that, that <laughs> could get you an XP. Um, did you struggle with issues from your vice or trauma? Uh, being chummy with uh, Kurnok was a little bit reckless. <laughs> <laughs> you are not wrong. Yeah. That is true. That's true. You should get an XP for that. <laughs> oh, and uh, I get an XP for getting payback against someone who harmed uh, me or someone I care about. And also the crew Ooh. marks crew XP for the uh, for hitting our friend. Nice. Nice. Vengeful. I will give the crew an XP. Um... Scripty, I think express your beliefs drives heritage from background. Uh, yeah. You should get an, an XP for that. I'll take that one. Um, Aiko, address a challenge with charm or recklessness. I don't know. Did he do much video? I mean, he didn't really charm anybody as. Gerbos, nobody was really staying out of the way. Yeah, he wasn't reckless, except that he stuck around. But then he wasn't reckless in that he asked for directions. So probably no. I think did not do that thing. Yeah. Uh, did you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background? Uh, definitely recruiting the prison guards, the attunement that I feel like that yeah. checked off a box there. Uh, do, 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 talking a little bit about throwing the houses against each other might hint towards a bit of his noble and underworld background. So for a second, possibly. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think you leaned on your your side of things in that discussion. Okay. Uh, and then he's cold as his trauma, not moved by emotional appeals or social bonds, not being intimidated maybe, but I don't know. It's a stretch. Yeah, I think... I think that's kind of a kind of a half point and kind of a half point from the <laughs> from the previous one. So two total, I think. All right, two total. There we go. Cool. And no Valoria. We're done with XP. Um yeah, let's do stars and wishes off camera. So goodbye, Internet. Goodbye.